What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Car Garage. As everyone know that I finished my A4 and I installed a uh, intercooler, a bigger, from the previous video. This is how it looks with the bumper on. This is the final and this is how it looks. Uh, of course because I have the S4 bumpers, these uh, grills right here I had to cut them a little bit because the pipe is coming through here and trim it from here a little bit. But this is how it looks, the final. And the bottom grill, I trimmed these pieces, so I took them off. It was like here, so these ones, I took them off, so it looks, uh, it looks more so and more air goes through it. Same on this side. I have to cut this one a little bit, so pipe doesn't touch anything. So this is how it looks. So, as many of you know that I built the engine of my car, and I've been driving it for like uh, 1500 miles already and one of these days I was looking uh, in the morning where I parked the car in the parking lot that I have some uh, some uh, coolant leak and I opened the hood see where it's coming from and when I opened the hood and I took this cover off uh, from the timing belt right there on the bottom all the way in the bottom coolant is leaking from the water pump yeah the water pump is leaking guys so I have to replace it I think I don't know maybe it was a defective water pump or something uh, so what I'm gonna do today I have the car in the shop uh, I need to replace it because I can't drive it like that the coolant level is okay but I can't drive it like that so I got a new water pump I got it from the dealer original this time and I want to put the original one. I got one, he was saying it's good, made in Germany, but looks like it was aftermarket and it wasn't in good condition. And this is the, this is the original water pump. This is how it looks like. Is how it looks like and it has this one right here I don't know it's like a spacer because the other water pumps comes with the uh, metal metal right here this looks like it's plastic but this one doesn't have this piece right here like the spacer so uh, I don't know start leaking the other one I gotta replace it so I'm gonna replace it today I hope everything goes well and I'll let you go let you know guys so the bumper has to come off and it's supposed to come off with that impact bar that is right here but because I have that uh, intercooler the big intercooler right here I have to take only the bumper and then I'm gonna take the bar out with the intercooler and then I have to take the older radiator with the support and everything so first what I'm gonna do take the headlights take the bumper take the impact impact bar with the intercooler and then the radiator support and then we have access to the water pump timing belt and water pump and uh, let's do it here we go got everything out got the radiator with the support and everything this is the front bar with the air intercooler how it comes out and that's the front bump so got everything out now I have space right here so I can work I'm gonna take all this pull the tensioner out take the timing belt and finally change the water pump so I got the cover off from the timing and I wanna ch double check what is leaking from as you guys can see here is leak and the leak is coming from here from here so this water pump looks like was is defective I'll put more lights so you guys can see yep here it's leaking coolant I thought it was leaking from the gasket like from here I also put silicone to be secure and looks like it's leaking from here doesn't run the water pump the brand of the water pump you guys can figure it out so you guys know so don't buy this water pump 
this is my third one the same uh, brand uh, first one wasn't leaking no first one was leaking and then second one wasn't leaking that's the third time that I'm buying the same one and it's leaking so that's it too much experience with this that it's leaking too much and uh, I got the way I'm on. gonna install it so we're gonna see for how long that one is gonna last so let's so what I did I put uh, everything uh, on mark right here this and that one here from the crankshaft pulley I checked the cylinder number one and I marked with a marker I marked my timing belt with a tooth from here from the camshaft uh, uh, pulley and from the crankshaft I mark it here and here so I know how to put the timing belt back uh, make sure when you change it you don't slip a tooth or something because and then something can go wrong with your timing you can bend the valve or something so let's go for the water pump here we go guys this is the water pump that came off my car right now that was leaking from here from here was leaking and this is the OEM pump see the difference and look here Yep. I think uh, the problem is here the seals from inside or bearings or whatever has right there and look at the OEM one yes this is plastic and this is metal but we're gonna see how this one is gonna go because I'm pretty sure when the cutter was was original he, uh, he came with this original from the factory and this they go for like over a hundred thousand miles and so no problem no leaks but this one look 1500 miles and already was leaking i couldn't live with it like that so i had to change it now we're gonna go ahead and install this one and see how this all goes here we go got the new water pump installed got the bolt starts uh 15 uh, newtons now we gotta put the uh, timing belt on and everything back together how it was we gotta start it up and running all right all right back at the shop this is the second day uh, yesterday we was getting late already so this is uh, what i have done uh, so far installed everything timing belt i put the radiator spur to the radiator connect all the uh, hoses from the radiator i put the impact bar with the intercooler so what's left right now only the bumper and all the connections the piping from the intercooler i just have to secure and should be good to go start the car uh, make sure drain all the air from the cooling system that's it that's good after everything was put back together uh, Pull the car right here and charge it with AC. Everything is good, it's blowing cold. Engine temperature is good. So it's time to take it home tonight. That's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching the short video, how I uh, removed the water pump and installed a new one. And uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future.